Um, probably just since winter and getting here in the spring is just stepping outside of my comfort zone and becoming more of a vocal leader. Um, kind of learning, you know, not just in the facility, but learning kind of like the daily lives of kind of the people I'm around um, and getting to know everybody on a deeper level. What's it been like to have whole offense looking at you as the guys? Um, it's been like a really good feeling and just being able to have a lot of those guys uh, look to me and be able to count on me um, just the same way I look at them and then count on them. It's just, um, it's no added pressure or anything. Everybody has their, their job that they do each, each and every Saturday. So it's just going out and, and um, continue to execute that. Um, I think it's really just competing each day and finding, you know, maybe one thing to get better on. Each and every person finding one thing they can work on um, and better themselves at. And at the end of the day, like when we line up and we go 11 on 11 or whether it's 7 on 7, whatever it is, um, guys are going hard, guys are going full speed um, so that we can, you know, make mistakes and learn from them and then just compete at the end of the day. Um, really just like how much he cares about uh, the offense as a whole um, and how grateful he is to be in this position because uh, he never he never goes a meeting without saying you know how much he cares about us and, and how grateful he is to be in front of us and, and be our offense coordinator and a lot of guys um, not, wouldn't necessarily say that and just just the way he's um, um, kind of expanded and broadened our playbook and you know like we're, we're still going to run the ball at a high level he wants to throw it at a high level as well and at the end of the day like we have a, a lot of good a lot of good pieces um, to, to be able to execute and, and our offense be really explosive um, come the fall. What's kind of the coordination process with the and how that's going on this uh, Really good. He's, he's came in and he's, he's added some stuff to our offense to make us a little bit more explosive. And um, him and Coach Riley, it's just like having, uh, we have, it's like we have two OCs and, and two like minds and, and back there to be able to bounce ideas off each other. So um, I'd, I'd look at it as, as an advantage in, in, our, in my shoes. Uh, really, like across the board, like the guys I've got a lot of chance to go with are, you know, like you've seen Jason Keegan, and then um, Cephas started to pick it up a lot as we got um, deeper into it, and then Jay Jack is a guy that's uh, overlooked a lot, um, and then obviously you know we have DJ and we have backs that are um, rotating in with DJ as well, um, but Trey Spivey definitely showed flashes towards the end of end of spring ball as well, but I don't think I could just say one guy. Some guys have really good days and. Um, it's really just, you know, who, who wants to step up and, and, and be that playmaker. Avery, you're winding up your first year of college, and now you're being asked to come out here to lead a bunch of guys, sometimes a lot older than you. Um, how have you adjusted to that? Um, it really hasn't been too hard just because I feel like a lot of the guys, you know, um, respect me and, and trust me, and it's just kind of just how I go about uh, my everyday life. and. Um, just you know, it doesn't just come out here and, and just start barking out orders. Um, it starts when I when it started when I first got here, just putting my head down and working in the weight room, um, coming out here during team runs and then just giving it my all and earning their respect that way. So that when it was time for me to bark out an order like it is now, um, guys respect it, guys listen. And then whenever I do ha make that mistake or whenever I you know get down or fumble up a little bit, some guys will come to pick me up too. So. Um, it's not just a, a one man a one man show. It's joint leadership from older guys, younger guys, um, and we have really good a really good thing going right now. I know, I know the priority for you is to get bigger and stronger. How do you feel like uh, you've accomplished there, and what what do you weigh? For? Uh, I weigh 190 right now. I came back, finished the season probably around like 181. Um, came back in the winter and then put on. I was a little bit above 190, dropped about 190 right now, but. Um, trying to get over the 200 pound range, but we have uh, good sports science, good nutrition here, um, great strength staff. So no doubt in my mind, I can get to that point if I uh, stay on that meal plan and, and put some time and effort into it. Sorry. Sky's the limit, really. Um, I mean, obviously we're shooting for that college football playoff and, and Big 12 championship, and. Um, that's really where, where I think we, we can be headed. We just got to continue to take one each day, each practice one day at a time, um, and continue to work even even though spring ball is over, just working in the summer, uh, working in fall camp, because 
you know, we're going to win games starting today. How different is this playbook from last year? Um, I wouldn't say it's too, too different. We've added some stuff. We've taken some stuff out, I'm trying to simplify it um, and, you know, find stuff that we're really good at and pound that type of stuff. And then uh, stuff that we didn't run so much and that we weren't so good at, kind of just um, taking that out of the playbook and, and just being excellent at um, a lot of things. On that meal plan, how many calories a day? Really, it's just, I wouldn't say it's big on calories. It's just trying to eat three, meal, three, three meals a day and then snacking in between those meals. I would say it's probably anywhere between four to 5,000 calories, depending on if it's a run and a lift day, if it's an off day, uh, how much I'm burning that day. So. Where did you say you the most the quarterbacks since the last signing? I'm sorry? How would you say you improved the most as a quarterback since we saw you last um, Probably just pocket presence and accuracy. Um, big thing that I did, or I did a lot previously, is just kind of getting out of the pocket too early and, you know, um, just trying to work on this screen, kind of feeling stuff happen around me, um, sitting in there tall and delivering throws and just being able to, to make plays from within the pocket and then just use my God-gifted abilities whenever I am forced outside of the pocket. Um, really, it's just all about timing and chemistry, um, continuing to rep those things out with them each and every week and um, continuing to, you know, build those relationships off the field so that they do translate on the field. Your quarterback room is fairly different than, than it was last year. How do you kind of mesh with the newer guys that have come in and the obviously the coach guys? Um, it, it hasn't really been too hard. A lot of the guys, I, I feel like we like to be around each other. We like to, um, you know, like we like to joke around. Um, but we still get our we still get our work done. We still, um, you know, take time to, you know, work and improve and see things that we need to, you know, fix and make better. And um, Coach Wells has done a great job of, you know, coaching the little things like the footwork and the reads and the progressions and stuff like that that uh, oftentimes can get overlooked at the quarterback position, especially at this level. Um, what's the first thing most about Jacob as a player from when he got here last week? It's just really a credit to him and his work. Um, just putting his head down and getting in the playbook, um, you know, working as hard as possible in the winter and then even in fall camp and stuff like last year. Uh, but credit to him because he's looked he's looked really good um, this spring and um, he's only going to get better. Thank you.